Welcome back to KG Gaming. In today's video, we're back playing Hunter Simulator 2. Right out here in front of us, as we can see, it looks like we have two, maybe elk, maybe moose. I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, right up here, we should be good to go. I have two different guns, and now I'm playing in third person, which I've not actually done yet in the three-part series. These are the three videos we've already done so far. If you've not seen those, you should probably go watch them. The first two are kind of rough, but the third one, I really started to get the hang of the game. But yeah, I do I actually have two guns with me, one of which is a shotgun, which will be nice. I can take stuff like ducks and stuff. And then I also have my 270, which is, you know, it's a scoped rifle. So we should be in good shape there. We're just going to run towards these sounds until we get close enough. But then we're finally going to hopefully make some kind of move on them and take them out. I've only been playing this game for a short amount of time. But by far, my favorite aspect of the game is that you can actually glass. So, like, I could look way over there on that mountain and just sit here and look and see if I could find anything. If I did find something, I'd move towards it. But in this case, I'm actually kind of close to some animals, so we're just gonna move on up on them. And they're somewhere down here on this hillside. They may be down there. All right, so he's right down there. It's an elk and it's a male. This is gonna be kind of a long shot and it's pretty thick down there. He's moving. I wanna keep the high ground as much as I can because that gives me a pretty good advantage. What if I can get right here and find a shot out there in the clearing? That's him, that's him, that's him. Now I just need him to stop. I hit it. All right, let's head on down and start looking for blood. It wasn't a perfect shot at all, but from what I've seen so far, I don't think it really matters where you hit them at. I think as long as you just hit the body, they pretty much die, which is extremely unrealistic. Now, I do need to find the blood trail so that I know where it crossed. About positive it crossed the river, but I've not picked up on the blood trail yet, so I'm about positive it did cross the river, so I'm just gonna walk this right here and see if I can find the blood, and I did. This is the elk I just shot, and he went into the river. I assume he crossed the creek and came out somewhere over here. I just gotta look for blood. Unless Unless he died in the creek, but I really, oh no, here he is, he came out. All right, now we just track the blood. Should lead us right to the animal. He's bleeding pretty good, honestly. I don't think he's down. He just made a noise up there. I'm gonna go this way, see if we can't cut him off. Oh, there he is, son. He just died, literally right in front of my eyes. Hey, I'll take it, that ain't bad at all. There's actually another elk over here, we'll go for it. From here, let's just pull out our binos. We'll just start looking. Maybe we can get lucky and spot something way over there, I don't know, you never know. We'll glass down here in this canyon for a little bit, see if we can see a deer or an elk or something to go after. Hit him one time. We got a deer moving in. I don't know what it is. Boy, girl, kid. I don't know, but... Got two deer moving in. Dang, son. These are actually very active. Stand up. I'll see if I can see what they are while they're coming in. I know they're coming in from right over here. I kind of do want to stay back behind the tree just in case something goes down. Mm, dang, they're actually really close, aren't they? Dude, there's three. I'm gonna go ahead and start scooting up. I probably shouldn't. I should probably, you know, I'm using a rifle. I should probably just stay back. Stay back about right here and just wait. See, I know they're right in there. I know there's, that there's three deer right in there. One's real close. He should be dead. <laughs> Let me see if those other ones are still coming. They may still come. I'm not sure in this game whether the gunshots run them off, spook them, or what, but all I know is that I caught in a deer. He figured out something was up and I shot him. Perfect execution. That worked about perfect. Now I'm going to go back to third person so I can watch my guy sprint. Yeah, he died right there. Not bad, not bad. I mean, this little claim detail, it really doesn't tell me much. This is actually a pretty fun game, guys. I didn't like it at all at the beginning, but now that I've played it a little bit, I am starting to really like it. There are parts of it that are actually kind realistic so for example to glass i'm gonna come up here to this open spot where i can see the, all the way down the mountain and some over there and i'm gonna just like sit down and i'm gonna just look that's pretty realistic how you really hunt in real life at least if you're out west and you have space to do this and there, there we have a bear i can't see the bear but i do know he's over there somewhere probably right around the other side of the rock what i can do is i'm just gonna glass for a second more and if i don't see anything which uh honestly i probably won't because you don't see something every time i'm gonna move on around the mountain to where maybe i can get a closer look at that I'm I'm just gonna use the mountain to my advantage since I am automatically way higher than them. I'm just gonna move around the mountain and keep looking over until I eventually see them. Then we'll go ahead and scoot up and try to, you know, make the best out of what we got. All right, so the bear's 100 meters that way. 100 meters ain't far, guys. In real life, if I was 100 meters away, he might know I was here. If he didn't know I was here, I wouldn't knew he was there either because there's no way he'd just be making noises like that. But that's okay, this is a game. Hey, yo, look, there's a tree stand. I'm gonna go check that out here in a minute. Snap, that's him right there. Aim it, aim it, aim it. Put one. Oh, bad shot, bad shot. 
That's okay. We got nothing in him. We got nothing in him. That's important. If you can put more than one shot in him, you might as well, dude. I tell you what I need to do. This is just a 270. Fully capable of killing anything, especially in the game. But I'd like to have something a little bit bigger. I honestly want a 308. I like 308 in real life too. So here he is. I don't I don't know how far he's gonna go, honestly. Oh, never mind. There he is. Well, uh, he died quick enough. It was a long shot. First shot was actually a really good one. That's my last grizzly bear tag, man. I'm gonna have to go back to the cabin and buy more. But let's not move back too fast. Let's see, keep hunting while we're here glass this little field this little flat down there yeah i can glass a little bit more here from a different angle angles are everything guys if you can look at something from two different angles you may see something you didn't see the first time and something may be behind a tree but from a different angle you may be able to see back behind that tree you may be able to see a color you didn't see or something that's in the shade i don't know <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that or not. That's actually an elk over here. I blew a deer call and got an elk to respond. Not really sure how that works out. There's actually a fox back down there too, but I don't have my fox gun. I can only hold two guns, and I brought the shotgun and a big gun. We're gonna go walk upon an elk, apparently. I don't wanna call to him just yet because if he comes to me and all this thick stuff, I can't see him. That's not what I want. I wanna get up here to a clear spot up here and then call him. Let's hit the elk call and see if we can get him to move. <laughs> Two elk. Okay. This one's coming closer. This one's getting a lot closer, a lot faster. That one's 99 yards away. <laughs> oh my gosh, there he is. That's him. <laughs> I just destroyed him. They just come into the call, dude. Like maybe the calling is a little OP. I don't know, but I dropped him. I, that's all I know. I, I, I dropped him, heart shot, dude. Let's see if there's any deer close by. <laughs> I don't know if I even had my deer call. I don't know where it is. I actually called in a deer this year. He saw me before I saw him, but I did call him in. That's a pretty big, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy about it. I'd like to get a moose. Hit your moose call, brother. I have my moose call, too. Let me hit my moose call. I'm practically a calling expert. There he is. Hey, what I tell you? He heard my call. Hey, here's a tree stand. All right, there's an elk. Let's get up in the stand first. We may have two or three things come in. We don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Here he is. That's him, that's him, that's him. Oh, it's a spike. Hey, that ain't terrible. Oh, he seen me. How did he see me? You know what? I bet he didn't see me. I bet he saw this fox I've been calling in. That's what, exactly what it was. Get your shotgun. I don't see him, though. There he goes. That's him, that's him, that's him. That's him. Wrong caliber? Are you kidding me? I wish they'd just leave me alone, let me hunt. Yes, sir. Animal cannot be bagged. Unbelievable. I'd love to know whose idea it was to tell me I can't shoot a fox with a shotgun, but I can put six shots in my shotgun and legally hunt with it. The limit's three, buddy. Whatever, though. I kind of like to find a duck. I've not found a duck. I'm gonna head up to the top of this mountain. All right, mate, we're glassing. We're sitting up on a really nice glassing knob. We're just gonna look down there and see if we can find something. If we can't find something, we'll blow our call, see if anything wants to respond or come or anything like that. Let's walk on around the hill, see if we can get up close. Closer to anything. See if we can get a new vantage point, new angle. Yeah, let's look down there in that barrel air there. Ooh, what is that? That's a sheep. Okay, we got a big horn sheep. You can see that it's oh, there's two of them. The animals in this game, they look pretty realistic in my opinion. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh I'm gonna look at their movements. I see that they're kind of coming down the hill, they're they're kind of parallel in the stream. Honestly, I'm just gonna predict that they're coming on down the stream. So I'm gonna just set up and see if I can get them to come right in here and then shoot them whenever they get right here. Because I don't wanna have to move too much, and I think that I should be able to get right in here. Should be able to watch them come right on down. I'll take the shot when Whenever, yep, there they are. Yeah, they're coming right where I want them to go. As soon as they come out right there, they're in the open. I'm gonna take the shot. All right, that one's down. Hit it. I'm gonna hit another one. Let's go. We need nothing on that animal. All right, that one done it. That one done it. That was a pretty successful hunt, honestly. Like, we killed both of them. From what I know, unless I shot the wrong one. But now, I shot them right in here. Oh, no, dude. One of them dropped. One of them didn't go anywhere. I'll go ahead and bag it. It was a good long shot. Then this other one made it up the hill a pretty good way. And uh, we finally got it. Okay, luckily, he didn't go very far. And luckily, we was able to land a couple good shots on him and end him right up here. It was somewhere up here. Hope we didn't lose it. There he is. Oh, yeah. Two good ones. I think good ones. That worked out. Really good. I just heard a black bear growl very close to me. 
Here's his tracks. I think we just go after him, man. I'm gonna hit a call of each, a deer call. I'm gonna hit a moose call. I'm gonna hit the elk call. I'm gonna hit the predator call. Whatever comes in first is the one I'm taking. It's looking like it's probably gonna be the deer. The deer's the only one I got a response from. Let me get over here behind this rock, and I'm gonna just gun it down. Oh, gosh, that's a good one. Yeah, I got two of them coming in. I think I'll take whichever one of these that comes in first. This one doesn't know I'm here. But the other one behind it doesn't either. And the other one behind it kind of looks bigger. And then we got this one way down the stream. They're both big and both very similar. I only have one bullet left, too. 65 yards away. Don't see me. Which one? Which one do I shoot? They're both really good. Well, no. Yep. I'm just going to end the video right here. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel in any way, the best way to do it would be going through kindlegrade1.com slash shop. It is the first link in the description. You can get a KG pocket knife in a ton of different colors, actually. All of these different colors. Or if you want apparel, you can get a t-shirt, backpacks, fanny packs, hats, all kinds of cool stuff like this. If you want anything, go to kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description and use promo code GAMING10, all caps, for 10% off whatever you guys want.